Next question. I'll ask you this one, Chris, and I, I've got my, uh, probably a similar answer. Would you ever post your listing presentation on your Facebook page? I don't think I would. You know why? There's no context. That's exactly what I was going to say. I, the exact the word I was going to say is that there's no context to it. It's just like it's words and images because the listing presentation, as, as, as Gary has designed it, is designed to facilitate a conversation, a sales conversation. Just putting it on there doesn't facilitate the conversation. It's just like information. In terms of what I post on Facebook, I would post other types of things outside of that. For example, you know, I might post uh, some highlight things that we do to market a home and then say, hey, if you'd like to have a full do copy of full a my property, property marketing market. plan, message me and I'll be happy to send it to you. That's the way to do it. Right. When it comes to social media, keep it easy with the five-step real estate marketing system because then you're only going to have to be in social media like once a week as opposed to trying to do it very frequently. The reason why what we've put together it works so well with that five-step real estate marketing system and why it improves the result that you get from social media is that it's a multi-channel approach. You've got a blog, you've got email, you've got video, you've got Facebook, you've got instant messaging all taking place. Those are multiple channels, which means the likelihood of someone seeing the message, responding to the message, uh, responding to you as you out do your outreach is significantly higher. I can't tell you how frequently even just like the messaging or the email that goes out is like the trigger or the catalyst for someone saying, oh, I've been meaning to talk to you. And then the real conversation starts. Yeah.